I'm about to get rocking and rolling on some hats today for an order that I have for a local bar, a local saloon called Bentley Saloon. The owner's a good personal friend of mine, actually a NASCAR legend. So uh, it was pretty fitting for me to uh, come up with this design for him. That's uh, Let's Go Bentley right here. Bentley Saloon, Arundel, Maine. Again, super color headwears. These are uh, the long ones, like the 4.7. Got a little distressed in there. I think it looks fantastic. I made this one solid uh, because the hats that I have are a little bit light and I needed something to, to break it up for sure. And these ones are designed to go over a seam of a six panel hat. So these are some dad caps here, made in USA from Union Wear. I go ahead and bend the brims after I'm all said and done. For anybody that doesn't know, a six panel, if you start counting these panels that are on here, you're gonna see uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's a six panel hat has the seam going right down the center here. Uh, the hat I'm wearing is a five panel, so there's no seam down the middle. It's nice and nice and clean, okay? One of the great things with Supercolor is all you have to do is tell them, hey, I'm printing on a six panel, and they'll make these transfers somehow magically to go right over that seam, and it works flawlessly every single time. Never had an issue. Uh, again, I print a bunch of hats with just the five panel. Let them know what you have for a design, what you're pressing it on, and they'll take care of it from there. But we're about to jump into these Let's Go Bentley dad caps right here. I'm gonna go ahead and get it cranking on the Stahl's Hotronics. I'm pressing at 300 degrees. My initial press is going to be uh, 15 seconds and I always do a post press. I do a post press on everything I make. So on these, I'm gonna do a post press of five seconds and it really uh, goes ahead and bakes in that transfer. And uh, I like the fact that you can actually kind of see through the transfer and see like the, uh, the, the lines of the fabric. I have one done, I'll show you. I like when you get in there, you can see like the lines. Hopefully you can see that. You see the lines in there uh, coming through in the design. To me, that just gives me a sense of comfort. I know that that's really baked in there. It's not gonna go anywhere. As you see this here, nice and smooth. I love the way this feels. It, uh, it really bakes in there, nice and strong. Again, red, white, and blue. Let's go Bentley, Bentley Saloon, Arundel, Maine. Six panels. I'm gonna show you how I go ahead and, and get into some of these. This is going to be a challenge because I'm working from behind the camera, so I'm almost kind of looking through my phone as I record this. But for this one here, this particular hat, when I put it on my press, I actually slide it on and then I pull it to make it even. I basically look for this line here and I'm going to make sure that part drops off of the press. It really just helps me to line up the design. I want to get this to drop off of this and I'm gonna keep this seam, which is the middle of the hat, right in the middle of my press. So as I pull this off, you can kind of feel it. You can feel it on the inside of the hat. What I'm basically pulling off is almost this here, like this piece. You'll feel it drop off of the press. To me, that lets me know that it's, it's pretty much even all the way across. So I take my hat, I'm gonna leave this seam in the middle of my press to try to keep things nice and even. And then I'm gonna pull this and I can feel that drop off. That lets me know this white piece here. I can feel that coming off the foam. I know that that's gonna be straight. Lock it in. And I'll see if I can adjust the camera to show you what we're gonna do next. I got some uh, heat tape here. So I add a little piece of tape on the outside of the transfer and then it's tough, tough to see, but if you're looking down without me trying to burn myself, this line of my heat press kind of lets me know, like between that and the seam hanging off the press, I know I kind of have a square surface to work with so I can line that up. The other thing I do, a little trick for everybody, is I like to print off a piece of paper uh, of my design and then I'll fold it in half and find that center. So that red mark right there is the center of this print. So what I do, uh, traditionally I try to print one off if I can um, or if you have like a transfer or something that you can you could bend up that's kind of a, you know, got a, an oops print or something, but I'll print it off on paper like this. And then um, this one kind of has a weird shape to it so it's a little trickier, but you basically fold it right in half and then you can double check it with a ruler. And then now that's my reference. And I just tack this to the wall over here so I know where I need to be. This particular design, I'm gonna line the seam of my hat up right where this imaginary red line is gonna be on my transfer. 
And for me, the easiest way to line this particular one, because the whole backing of this is black, is I'm gonna use a little pinch of this A because it hits right above the seam or right along that seam. So that's how I keep things even, just as a heads up. As I go back to my uh, transfer that's been taped, I'll see if I can angle the camera. I'm gonna go ahead, slide this in. I'm gonna look at that A and try to line that up with uh, the, the seam and the hat. And then this here, I'm gonna try to keep the straight line of the transfer in line with the straight edge that's right here. It kind of helps me to keep things even. So as you can see, I now have this even line at the top. I lined the seam of the cap up uh, using that little piece of the A right there. I take some craft paper to cover it. I actually make a few cuts here just so it fits the design better and it fits into the cap. Um, it doesn't kind of get away. It makes sure that You'll see what I mean when you look at your paper. Just a squared piece sometimes will fall off the press. So that's nice and good. I'm gonna give that 15 seconds, 300 degrees. There she is. I release it to peel it. Get that tape off. These peel nice and great. Again, that seam has no problem going over that seam. And these things pull like freaking butter. And it's in there pretty good, but uh, I'm gonna go back and do a post press right now. Five seconds. Happens quick. Booyah. Steamy. And then there she is. Nice and baked in and looking fantastic. All right, here we go. Got a hundred of these done. If you notice, uh, these brims are not bent at the moment. And uh, my supplier, they send all their hats this way. Uh, a lot of my uh, flat brim, like trucker ones, I won't bend them. I'll leave them the way they are. Others I'll go ahead and bend. On a dad cap, I definitely bend these. Now, uh, they'll do an additional charge for you to do the bending. I think somebody just does it by hand. Um, but I've kind of perfected my own method for doing this, and I'm going to show you. I get around having to pay somebody else to do it, and I get a real nice firm bend that holds its shape for some time by incorporating my Stahl's Fusion right here. I use uh, this hat press right here. So what I like to do is put one here, one here one here now i obviously have a spot for a fourth one the time i spend bending these the fourth one in my experience starts to cool down too much so i go with three i just put some craft paper over it in case there's anything on my press i throw it in this is at uh 270 anywhere it's around 200 250 is pretty good it depends on the thickness of the brim uh 250 is kind of a sweet spot and uh, 15 seconds, 10 seconds, kind of depends on the thickness of your brim. Pull your hat off your press. I leave the other ones underneath the heat with it up just to kind of keep them warm. A little bun in the oven. And then to show you this, I usually start on the corners here. I give that a pretty hard bend right there. This side, put your thumb on the lines here. Form that in. Give that another hard bend. Then I go to the middle. And then in the middle... I start putting in work real quick. Bend that. And then there you go, here's your bend, okay? Now, it might look a little off misshapen at the moment. Um, we're not done yet. Staples, I keep a few bags of uh, elastics on hand. Take your elastic, put it on the brim. You'll find the sweet spot to give it the shape that you're looking for. Sometimes you need two elastics, sometimes you only need one. This one I think is only gonna need one. So um, you can use two if this uh, outside edge is kind of wonky or if your elastics aren't super strong, you can use two. That's basically what it would look like if I were to use two. If these brims look a little over bent to you, like I've gone a little too far, don't worry about it. 
this bend is gonna relax a little bit when I release these rubber bands, but in the bands, I give them 24 hours, 48 hours, whatever, whatever time allows that I can work with. I try to give them at least a day, and then it kind of depends on space and what I'm up to, but at least a day later, I'll go ahead and pull these off, and you'll see they kind of come back a little bit, but uh, it ends up being pretty damn perfect after you're all said and done. So, little tip for you, Loud Proud American. Give it a shot, let me know what you think. Super color, headwear, transfers, right over the seam. Nice and even and clean. Ain't no questions about it. I legitimately can't even tell you how amazing it is to use Super Colors headwear on these hats. I flew through 100 hats. I used to do all my hats with an eye color printer. And uh, I will say if you do that, I highly recommend using Select that pulls more like butter. But you have that whole process of putting a transfer on, letting it sit, letting it cool, all that. I did a hundred of these hats in um, probably less time than I could do 20 hats the old way. So super color, keep on doing what you do. Let's go Bentley, Bentley Saloon. Thanks to all of you for checking out the video. Leave comments, questions below, hit subscribe. Let's grow the tribe. I appreciate you. Have a great day.